Hey guys, Dylan here. Welcome back to our in-depth series on operating the Red Epic Dragon with Boston Red Rentals. Today we'll be talking about OLPFs. So what is an OLPF? An OLPF is an optical low-pass filter used mainly to get rid of moiré, aliasing, and sometimes false color. Here's an image to show you exactly what moiré and aliasing are. Now that you understand the general purpose of an OLPF, let's check out the different kinds. Let's compare the two OLPFs. When there is ample light and you don't go below a certain threshold, then the skin tone highlight OLPF is better suited, as a skin tone highlight is designed to produce the highest image quality out of the dragon. In a scenario when there is virtually no light, the low light OLPF will produce an image that is 1 to 1.3 stops cleaner than the skin tone highlight OLPF. It's when there really is not enough light that the low light optimized OLPF shines. It's in the shadows where you'll start to see the advantages of the low light optimized OLPF clearly, as it should be as it is made expressly for that purpose. A lot of people tend to believe an OLPF can affect exposure, but this is false. When you change your OLPF, you are simply remapping the gain floor. So exposure is the same, except the skin tone OLPF is clean at 320 with expanded highlights, and the low light OLPF is clean at 800 with expanded blacks. The exposure is the same, just the noise floor is different. Now as we increase the ISO, you can see some of the changes in between the two OLPFs. The noise is very prevalent in the skin tone highlight OLPF as we go into the higher ISO range. It's important to know the differences between the two OLPFs as one might be better suited for the project you are filming. Here are some things that are useful to know. The low light OLPF can be pushed to about 2000 ISO without having significant noise issues. The skin tone highlight OLPF instead can be used up to 1280 ISO. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to comment below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.